with many serial killers, it's the killing part that they enjoy. And once they've killed the person, they're done. Not Mark Twitchell. Action. Mark Twitchell was an aspiring filmmaker living in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I'm glad I got the chance to work with you all, and I hope you, I see you all in the industry. I do think Mark Twitchell was using the filmmaking as an outlet to live out his fantasies, and it ultimately wasn't enough for him. And that's why his fantasies crossed into reality. On October 10th, 2008, a man named Johnny Altinger went to meet what he thought was a woman named Jen, whom he had met on a dating site. Not a message, nothing. And then not showing up for work, totally out of character. John was very, very, very responsible. Altinger and his red Mazda had gone missing. And when did you grow concerned? When I received that email. And this email was completely out of character. What did it say? I've met a woman named Jen, and I'm going away with her to Costa Rica, and I'll call you at Christmas time. I just thought right away, after I had read this, that's got to be the weirdest message I've ever received. Altinger's friends had reported him missing to police and provided them with an important clue. Altinger had forwarded the directions of where he was going to his friends. Well, John's friends were concerned. His friend even questioned him on the email. You know, be careful. And John said, yeah, well, here's the directions. And if anything happens to me, you'll know where to look. The directions led investigators to a garage in southeast Edmonton. They learned the garage is rented out to an individual named Mark Twitchell. Twitchell initially denied knowing anything about a missing man or a red Mazda. They have a look around and they see some what looks like blood and Mark Twitchell's explaining, oh no, that's my movie prop. We did a film about a killing a guy in here and I filmed it all and I've been cleaning it up over the last couple weeks. He bragged to police about his film career and told them he was working on a horror film titled House of Cards, where a man is lured to a garage and stabbed to death. Eventually, Twitchell told investigators that he had purchased a red Mazda for $40 and that it was at a friend's house. So what are you thinking when you hear that, that he purchased a car for $40? I just thought that's unbelievable. That's just, right away I'm thinking to myself, this is a bunch of crap. Police also impounded Twitchell's personal vehicle and his laptop. On his laptop, police were able to access a deleted file. They pulled off a hard drive, a deleted file titled SK Confessions. Police believed SK was shorthand for serial killer. One of the first lines it says, I'm not sure when I decided to become a serial killer, but it was a feeling of pure euphoria. SK Confessions told a story that was strikingly similar to that of House of Cards. It was unbelievable. I just remember reading it all and just was fascinated by this document going, holy mackerel. But was SK Confessions a screenplay or was it Mark Twitchell's confession of murder? While examining Twitchell's car, they finally found hard evidence. Johnny Altinger's blood in the trunk of Twitchell's vehicle. When we got the word that uh, the DNA matched, we briefed our tactical team, our, our arrest team, and we had officers ready to make the arrest. 